question number six for exercise eleven point two. And we have to find uh, find the Cartesian equation of the line that passes through this point and is parallel to the line whose Cartesian form is given. And we know that the Cartesian equation of a line that passes through a given point is given by x minus x1 by a is equal to y minus y1 by b is equal to z minus z1 by c. So these x1, y1 and z1 are the uh, the coordinates of the point through which the line passes. So these are minus two. So these are our x1, y1 and z1. So let's put them. It's x minus of minus two is equal to y minus four is equal to z minus of minus five. And A. A is the direction ratio of the uh, vector. So of to be the line is parallel, but the the line or the vector, uh, the, the line to be the given line is parallel, is given in the Cartesian form. So these are, are A, B, and C. So these are A, B, and C. We can put them directly here. So this gives us X minus, uh, it's three, it's five, and six. So actually this is a line which passes to minus 2, 4, and minus 5. So we have to find the equation of this line. And this is parallel to another line. And the equation of this line, that line is x plus 3 upon 3 is equal to y minus 4 by 5 is equal to z plus 8 by 6. And if we compare this equation with the Cartesian form, that is x minus x1 with this form, so there here, these, the denominators are our direction ratios for parallel line and that's what we have to put in the required uh, Cartesian equation. So that's our required Cartesian equation. These are our x1, y1, z1 and these are a, b and c from the Cartesian equation of the parallel line. So this becomes x plus 2 by 3 is equal to y minus 4 by 5 is equal to z plus 5 by 6. And that's our required Cartesian equation that passes through uh, minus 2, 4, minus 5 and is parallel to this given line. That's also question number 6. Thank you for watching.